Thanks for coming on to the stand. Pleasure. Um, yeah, so you've had a good year, which is yep. good news. Yeah. Enjoyed it? Enjoyed the event? Very much so. Uh, well, well supported, well attended, a lot of new faces, a lot of new members coming in. And from the perspective of an independent buying group, we, we do go to regular meetings, but that's in our own little enclave. So it's yep. nice to meet other independents from up and down the country, whether like us, they trade in a coastal environment or similar size. So you're not just meeting your, your immediate peer groups and, and business partners through the buying group, but you're meeting other merchants and also yeah. some new new uh, merchant members I've met today as well that's been oh, very right. interesting that's good. yes yeah new products as well things have changed over the last um, 10 or 20 years um, to what extent you know have you seen changes and, and you know have they affected your business i think product innovation but as a smaller player we're always wary of supporting too much the new product that's the next best thing because the, a lot of these things you can get left on the shelf with because building controls compliance hasn't been strong enough to make sure that right sort of ventilation has been put in so yeah um, there hasn't recently been as many uh, building control regulation changes which has made it a little bit easier but I think products have evolved and at one stage you used to uh, trade with so many different suppliers where they all do a me too product and they all sort of uh, bring other products to market which are not necessarily new but within the same stable so it's yeah. easier to get to carriage paid but uh, there have been some significant changes and, and legislation has been uh, a key part of that uh, most recently for us auto enrolment but that's not just our industry that's all industries um, but yeah product innovation has been something that's that's been interested and innovation in the um, IT systems and in vehicle, vehicle management and, and what vehicles can do now to take yeah, manual point. handling out of it uh, yeah. significantly we thought we were innovative ourselves by getting a baler for our waste cardboard and plastic which generated some income at one time but now that's just uh, it means we use less skips but um, I think waste is still a big prob problem yeah. in our whole industry both in our yards with timber waste pallet waste uh, and it's how we tackle that. Um, we, so you, we me you mentioned vehicles I mean presumably you know fuel must be a big impact it, it, on It's a serious a concern yeah uh, I mean I'm personally looking at one of the hybrid vehicles next that's party electric yeah. both on a tax efficient basis but uh, whether we can then roll that out but ours is very much a heritage fleet so I think it's initial capital investment in, in replacing all these old diesels because diesel was thought to be reasonably less harmful than petrol but it's yeah. a, a bad press of late but uh, we can't really go back 50 years to when we used to have a handcart to take materials around uh, <laughs> um, but there must be we try and being coastal we've only got one way to go really so we try and make sure we get efficiencies in the vehicles being full when sure. they leave our place yeah. right yeah, that's a good point the future what how, how do you see the future have you got any sort of plans um, we're, we're looking to recruit uh, not so much succession planning we do have one or two people who uh, will will be retiring in the next five years but we will have four apprenticeship vacancies because it's uh, it's nice that somebody can come with some exterior, external experience, but sometimes if you, if you get somebody new enough and you can inspire them, and I'm interested to see what the BMF have about their youth recruitment day, yeah. um, and, and take that sort of raw material and, and, and show them what a challenging but interesting, vibrant, uh, exciting industry it is, what industry it is as well, because it, it is people, but you're meeting different types of characters on the trade counter, customers yeah. over the phone, uh, representatives coming in so uh, for the future we're, we're looking to recruit uh, and to try and get our numbers back up where we're not uh, in a crisis management situation when there's a, another spike in, in business and uh, very positive I think this, the year has been very kind to us weather wise business wise it's been kind to us we never like going into the winter as much as going into the spring but I, I'm, I'm confident for the, for the years ahead. Yeah, that sounds good. It could be interesting with the general election in sort of uh, nine and ten months time though, see uh, what impact that has if they're uh, yeah. trying to uh, vie for our voters. Yeah, there's, yeah. I mean, there's still a few question marks, aren't there, about different yes. things. I mean, have you, yeah. have you got a good pool of potential employees where you've got your businesses? And very much so, and, and there's, there's the localisation for the different towns of Cleveland, Fleetwood, Preston and Morecambe. Yeah. Uh, and we, we have sort of examples for youngsters coming into us of uh, senior positions filled by people who came to us from school and yeah. came on, on various schemes. And uh, spread is important for us, ge geographical spread and uh, product spread as well, um, and, and customer type as well. We're not just reliant on, on one sector. That's very helpful for us to have a, a spread in that respect. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for your time. You're very welcome, Graham. Thank, Thank you. you for your time.